Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. Hey, my boy. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I created this blue and green look that turned into like a graphic liner moment. I really don't know what to call it. So if you want to see how I created it, then keep on watching. So first things first, I'm going to start out with my brows. Now the brows you see right now are micro shaded and I will put the link to my micro shading video down below so you can see it. I'm going to start out with the Beauty Creations Brow Gel and I'm going to use it to you know lift up whatever little brow hairs I have and then I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Creations Brow Define Brow Pencil in the shade number six which is the black shade and I'm gonna use that to line the bottom of my brows as if I'm gonna fill it in next I'm gonna go in with the elf camel concealer in the shade Coco and this is the matte concealer I'm gonna use that to clean up the bottom of my brow Next, I'm going in with the Vice Art Pro Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm gonna put that on my eyelids to prevent any oils from coming through. Next, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. This is not the white shade on the website. This is like four shades below the white shade, but on my skin tone, it looks white. Um, I'm gonna put that on my eyelids and blend that in. I'm, be, I'm gonna be using the Glam Light ice cream palette and this is what that palette looks like if you want to buy or try the glam light products you can use my code ohema at checkout so you can get a discount off your order now i'm going to be using these two shades that i showed you guys first i'm taking that blue pastel bluish shade and i'm just going to stamp it into the outer part of my eye I'm just stamping it in. I'm not doing anything else to it. Just stamping it in because that is how you get the most payoff out of your eyeshadows. If you want to see how to get the maximum color payoff out of your eyeshadows, I will link that video on a one color eyeshadow payoff or a one color eyeshadow look down below so you can see how to intensify the colors on your eyeshadows. Next, I'm going in with a green or neon green um shadow and i'm also stamping it in and just lightly blending at the top because i don't i didn't want it to have a harsh line just blending in at the top and also just stamping in to intensify the shade Now when it comes to blending two shades together, what I like to do is take one of the shades, so in this case I took the neon green shade and I blended it into the blue shade. Whatever, Wherever the line is, I just blend one shade into the other. So I'm blending the neon green shade into the blue shade and then once I feel like it's blended enough, I'll go in, take the green, the blue shade and blend that into the green shade like ever so lightly but you know the back and forth definitely helps blend both shades together seamlessly now I'm going in with my deep setting powder and I'm using that to clean the upper part of the look so that the very so the parts closest to my brows don't look so pastel I'm going in with the crayon case um, makeup removers and I'm lining my eye because I need that shape to look like a cat eye shape so I went ahead and cleaned the bottom of it to give it that very sharp line. Next I'm going into the Beauty Creation Eyebrow Define Brow Pencil and I'm using that to fill in my brows and let me know down below in the comments if you want to see how exactly I fill in my brows and clean them up after I put on 
my base and I would try to get that video out for you guys. I have like multiple recordings of me doing my brows but I've never actually done the whole process through um, recently so let me know if you want to see it and I will try to get that up for you as soon as I can. So next I'm going in with the Maven Beauty Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Sangria and I wanted to just give it a little bit of a you know different look so I was going in with this liner and I was the whole plan was to just have a colorful look with a simple wing liner which actually ended up turning into a graphic liner moment. So after I lined my eyes, I went in and just started drawing up there. I really can't explain this to you, so I want you to watch it and maybe like you could recreate it like this because I cannot explain this part. This was just creative direction. So the one thing that I definitely forgot to film was to film me um, connecting the top part or connecting that little space thingamajig to the top of that wing liner thing to create that little space over there. I just, I forgot to film that part, but I did connect it to give it that little eye looking thing. Now next I took our blue shade that we used on our eyelids and I mixed it in with some of the white camel concealer to create this blue liner that you see me applying. Now the brush that I use to apply this look is actually a nail brush. I will try to link it down below if I can find it. If not, then I will just link the new ones that I just bought down below for you guys to see. But I just mixed the eyeshadow with, with the concealer and I used that to sort of clean the little graphic moment that we have up there and then I went in and filled in the little space that you see over there as well because I wanted to have continuity of the the blue liner that I put on the tail of 
our little whatever moment now another part that i forgot to record for you guys is that i put some of the blue um mixture that i did on the top of that wing liner so we have a blue on the little cut crease thing majig and we also have blue on the wing liner um, on top of the wing liner th thing majig and next i'm going in with the two faced killer liner I will put the name of this killer liner down below but these liners are matte they show up really really intensely and they don't move because they're not cream liners they're not like gel cream liners they're matte liners but they move very very beautifully on the waterline and they don't smudge and it actually shows up very very intensely and it doesn't disappear on your eyes like once you start blinking like the regular gel liners that you've been seeing So next I'm going to go in with the Bonsi Beauty Burkina Faso lashes. Now because of how these lashes look, I felt they would be the best lashes for this look because they are very tight lined, very streamlined lashes. They're very fluffy but the base of it is very cat eye like so I figured they would be the very best lashes for this look so that's why I went ahead and applied it. I also used the NARS Extreme Climax Mascara. I didn't show it to you guys, but we've literally been using that mascara. We're gonna use it until it's like completely done. Okay, so definitely go ahead and check it out. So next I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Velvety Matte Lipstick. I will put the exact shade down below because I don't remember which shade this was. I think this was me. I think this was the shade me if I'm not mistaken but I put that on and then I put some of the, the gloss in the shade sis I I'm, I'm sure it's sis I don't remember the names of the shades but I will definitely put that down below um, so you guys can see what shade which shade I used but then I went ahead and applied that on top of it and guys that is how I achieve this look now the little dots that you see on the lower parts of my eye I also used some of that blue liner um, mix that I did and I applied it on the lower part of my eye I've been loving it so you're gonna be seeing a lot more color dots on my lower lashes that's how I created this look let me know down below in the comments if you're going to try to recreate this it's a fun creative graphic moment okay that's that's it let me know down below in the comments what you think about this look i will also put the skin routine down below so you can check that out as well thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye